that's a hot mug guy hey guys a little bit of an interesting review here my roommate had her friends over and i actually had a movie on my shelf that i had thought about watching for a long time that movie is stoker there's a lot of interesting sort of thoughts about this movie the first being that it was written by Wentworth Miller. You know, Michael Schofield from Prison Break. Did you know that this guy used to be a model? Because the script feels like it was written by a model. And it's not in a bad way, because it's actually really fascinating once you get into it. The film focuses on a girl named India, whose father just dies in a car accident, and her mother, played by Nicole Kidman, and her are grieving, and then all of a sudden her uncle appears, played by Matthew Good. And what we start to see is a strange relationship rivalry between the two that goes far beyond anything that might be noted as acceptable or not passe in terms of film. This movie pushes a boundary almost to the point where everything starts to get not just really weird, but super weird. But it's not a bad weird at least for me, I know that some people will not enjoy this movie because it is an art house film in a sense, but it's also directed and shot by two pretty big Korean filmmakers. And that's probably the reason why this movie is as good as it is. Because if this was directed by any normal run-of-the-mill director, I think this movie would have been garbage. But because it is shot and directed by these two, it actually helps the movie significantly because Korean films are much more willing to take a little step further than most traditional Hollywood movies. Snowpiercer for example, a Korean film made with a Hollywood budget but it has ideals and filmmaking techniques of Korean films that you wouldn't see in Hollywood movies and that's exactly what Stoker had and that definitely comes into play with the relationship between India and her uncle to the point where some people who I was watching this with said that they were confused and frustrated. It's almost like a taboo idea but it really pushes it and actually embraces it and this plays all into how the film is paced because it starts off very janky. It starts off kind of not like it's collected. It's sort of piece together and it's in my opinion it's we're representing India's grief and her kind of loss of life in terms of the loss of her father but once her uncle comes in and once they start to figure out the connection between the two the movie starts to move along a lot smoother it starts to have a much more of a compelling pace and you're really really into it all the way up until the end and I think that's what makes Stoker so unique, is that it's not a movie that is a traditional film. Some people won't like this, I can understand why, because it's weird. But for those who will enjoy it and kind of embrace that weird, that strange, that kind of forbidden sort of idea, you start to see what is so intriguing about this movie. I think that the film definitely has some flaws, the acting in some places is just fucking hilariously bad. but you start to see that it's playing into how the film works. And Nicole Kidman, oddly enough, is really weird in this movie. And some of the camera techniques are just like, what, what, what did you do there? But you start to see why they're doing it. So I definitely recommend watching this movie for those of you who are interested in watching something that's a little bit, okay, not a little bit, very much out of the norm. <laughs> and you will enjoy this. By the way, young Han Solo was also in this movie. I totally almost shit my bricks when I saw that he was in it because I've had this movie since 2013. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give Stoker a five out of seven. I definitely recommend watching this movie. It's not a normal movie. It's a very interesting watch, though, an intriguing watch, and you definitely won't forget it. Trust me. Anyways, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out.
like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.